On Sunday, April 22nd, we celebrated Earth Day. And this Friday, April 27th, is Arbor Day. This year, Dominion Energy's Project Planted program reached a milestone. It has now distributed a half million tree seedlings since 2007. The program's coordinator, Siapa Marquez, is back with us. I can't believe it's been a year since you were here planting yes, trees with us. Yes, yes. <laughs> a whole year has passed. We <laughs> like it. And in that whole year, a lot of these seedlings have now gotten a little bit better. A little bigger, bit bigger. bigger kids a little have gotten. bit bigger, yes. All right, so. So we, we passed that milestone. It's been over 10 years now that you've been doing this. Uh, how many kids have taken part over the years? Or can we even guess on how many children have taken part? Well, we reached a half a million milestone, mm -hmm. which creates about one tree per child. Wow. So, so it's, it's, it kind of evens out. A couple of years ago, when we first started this, you were using uh, some kind of spruce. Or a pine. Colorado blue spruce. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then, then when again, a couple of years ago, you switched over to the red bud. Yes. So, so the red buds obviously uh, are a much different tree. Do the kids yes. no, notice a difference? Or the yes, they actually notice a difference because the Colorado blue spruce, the kids used to get it, and it used to just be a little stick. Teeny little Very stick. Very tiny yeah. little yeah. stick. We get leaves with this. Now. One. <laughs> As you see, the kids get this tube and this little beautiful seedling is in there. So yes, they could tell the difference. Yeah. yeah for yes. people who are not familiar with Project Planted, explain how it works within the classroom situation and how yes. the kids get the trees. Okay, so the teachers actually have to, or the educators ha actually have to sign the children up for the trees. And what happens is they get signed up, all the um, education materials are online for the teachers to teach their kids regardless of what age uh, level they are. So we have pre-kindergarten all the way up to college to garden clubs to Girl Scouts to Boy Scouts taking part of the program now. So all the resources are online. Go to www.projectplanted.com and there you can have games that the kids could play. The teachers have resources and they could really line up the lesson plans to whatever subject in STEM that they're trying to teach the children. Let's do our lesson plan this morning. Okay. Uh, since you're here to teach us, <laughs> what, okay. what would this red bud, when it's grown, do for us and our uh, environment? Well, you know, trees in general, of course, you know, everybody knows that they give us oxygen. Um, they actually help soil, uh, prevent soil erosion. And what my grandbaby always says is they, put, they, they give the little squirrels a place to live. <laughs> and as far as immune energy, we love it because it helps the customers save on their uh, utility bills in the summer and the winter time. If the tree is placed in a strategic place, It'll so shade the house and it'll it keeps shade it cool the house. In the exactly. You got it. Yeah. yeah. So when we yes. bring this home, what do we do with it? This is Project Plant It, so yes. I guess we plant it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we want you to plant the She's little She's the smart tree. one. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we're going to do I'm actually going to plant this in a planter. Okay. Um, the kids could go with their parents and actually plant it outside. But if you do do that, we do ask the parents to please dial 811 to make sure you're not. You know, planting so that you know it. where you're digging. Exactly. Not under the tree, not under, um, not any by gas lines, water lines. We don't want any incidences. Okay. And you do so, that when we're digging for anything in the for yard. Anything. We should dial 811. I have called many times. Always. Just have them <laughs> mark the yard. It doesn't take long. Just better to be safe than sorry. And it's a free process. It is very is free. Nice. Exactly. And it Just makes it a safe. simple call. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. So when the tree, uh, when the children receive their tree, um, it actually comes in this tube right here. And instructions are underneath the label, if anybody knows that. Right in um, the tube. Right in the tube. So yeah. just peel the label off and everything is right there. Um, so what we're going to do is take the little baby seedling out of the little plastic bag. And it's got a little root ball on yep, it. Yeah, and it's the root ball. So what we really want to do is to make sure that it is deep enough where the root ball is covered plus a little bit more. Not much more because we don't want to really drown we it. We don't want to bury it. Exactly. Yeah. So what, I'm, what I've done is I've dug my little hole in my planter. I'm going to put that in there. And, and how long are we going to want to leave that in the planter before we transplant it out into the yard? You know, you could really do it two to three years. It's a really slow growing okay. tree. So you could really leave it, on the, leave it in there for two to three years and then transplant it outside um, in a nice sunny place. Not full sun, kind of shady sun. And what we're going to do is just pat down the dirt. Very easy peasy. How big is that going to get in oh, 10, 20 years? In 10, 20 years, <laughs> you know, it's about maybe 10 to 20 feet, okay. it really, but it blooms such beautiful flowers. Oh. I know we hate pollen. <laughs> <laughs> it, it serves a purpose. It serves a purpose. Yeah. And then we're going to water it just a little bit. Um, not a lot, but just a little bit. 
Give it a little drink. Give it a little drink. And, you know, you could actually put it outside today, considering that it's raining. Mm -hmm. You could actually just put it outside in your planter. Um, and just, it doesn't require a lot of movement. Kind of mm -hmm. just put it where you want it and just let it be. And the kids really will love it because every year it changes. You know, it'll lose its leaves in the wintertime, but then it'll come back. And then in so three to four deciduous. years. Yes. <laughs> in three to four years, it'll come back and it'll start blooming flowers. Very I like nice. that. So, Thank yes. you for yes. planting it. For Thank Project you. Planet. Yes, yes. And then you're yes. all going to be out at Herbs Galore and More? Yes, yeah, so what we're actually doing for the first 200 people that come up to Herbs Galore and More, you actually will get a Project Planted uh, bookmark that, when planted, will give you um, wild flowers. Very so, kind nice. of keeping in line with planting and making the earth more beautiful. Helping the environment. Thank you, yes, Suyapa. Yes. The Herbs Galore and More event is this Saturday, April 28th, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the Carriage House Lawn at Maymont. And as we said, the first 200 people will receive a free wildflower seed bookmark from Dominion Energy's Project Planet program. WTVR.com slash VTM is where you'll find all the details.